Now most people are familiar with this type of pull stroke, the pendulum stroke. Some players may keep their elbows still throughout the stroke, while others may drop their elbow. The backstroke is usually slow and there may even be a pause at the end of the backstroke. The grip hand opens up during the backstroke and closes during the follow through. This is the most common type of stroke you'll see in pool halls across the country. But many people don't realize that there are two other types of strokes. The first one, the slip stroke, is regarded as one of the best big table strokes. And when I learned this stroke in 1985 from Dallas West, his explanation of the stroke was, and I'm quoting here, slide your hand on the cue stick during the backstroke, then throw the cue stick at the cue ball. Now while that may seem odd, that's exactly what happens during the stroke. So I'm going to show you how to perform the slip stroke and then I'm going to run some racks of 10 ball so you can see it in action. And the other stroke I'll be showing you is a jab stroke. This is a great bar table stroke that is extremely deadly. And to demonstrate how powerful this stroke is, I'm going to run about six racks of 10 ball in a row just using the jab stroke. This is pretty much just a point and shoot stroke. Once you have the shot lined up, you pull the trigger. So kind of think of it as a boxer's jab. Short, but powerful. But as accurate as this stroke is, it goes against everything you've ever learned about proper stroking techniques. So, if you're ready, Let's get started. Now there's a lot of strong players who utilize more than one stroke. One example would be Willie Moscone, who would bounce back and forth from a pendulum stroke to a slip stroke, depending on the situation. So now why should someone learn more than one stroke? Well, let's say you're a bar table player with a short, compact stroke, but now you have to play a match on a big table. That's when a slip stroke would come in handy. You can still use your compact stroke in the short shots, but the shots that require distance, you just bring out your slip stroke. If you're a player that plays a lot of league games or tournament games, there's gonna be times when things aren't clicking. Your concentration is poor, your stroke isn't quite there, and you end up struggling. This is another situation where you may want to try switching strokes and maybe you might be able to hit a gear. Or maybe your big table stroke is getting you into trouble on the smaller tables. That's when you can change strokes to a more compact stroke to get better control of the cue ball. So let's begin with our first stroke, the jab stroke. If you play a lot of bar table pool, you know that you don't need a big stroke on these tables to play 8 ball or 9 ball. The cue ball rarely has to travel that far. That's why the jab stroke works great on a bar table. It's a super compact stroke with the backstroke never going back more than 3 or 4 inches. Also if you suffer from poor concentration while you're down on the table, which a lot of people do, then the jab stroke may be for you. With a jab stroke, all you're doing is lining up the shot, and once it's lined up, you pull the trigger. Your backstroke is never longer than 3 or 4 inches, and when you have to move the cue ball long distance, you can still generate enough power within that short backstroke to perform the shot. Your whole focus is just lining up the stick with the aiming point. The grip is firm, almost like you're holding a tennis racket. All of the fingers are gripping the cue as you perform the back and forward stroking motion. And once you master this stroke, you can still easily go back to your big table stroke when you're playing on the big tables. And the great thing about this stroke is that it removes a lot of the second guessing that takes place when people are down on the table. Just like any stroke, you figure out how you need to hit the cue ball to play position on your next shot while you're standing up. Once you figure out exactly how you need to hit the shot, you get down on the table, you line up the shot, and then you pull the trigger. Your practice strokes will be short, almost mini strokes. Your whole focus is to line up the tip of the cue with the aiming point. And since your backstroke is extremely short, you may find that your accuracy increases. This is a great little stroke that every bar table player needs to learn. 
Also, it doesn't take a long time to master. Just spend a couple hours pocketing balls, making sure your backstroke is extremely short. Also, use a closed bridge and make sure it's snug with the cue since the bridge hand is helping to aim the shot. And that leads us to the next stroke, the slip stroke. This stroke has been around a long time. Top players throughout history have used the slip stroke, including Willie Moscone and Dallas West. It's a powerful stroke and, when mastered, makes pocketing balls almost effortless. In 1985, I spent time with player and teacher Dallas West studying the slip stroke. His explanation of the slip stroke was to slide your grip hand along the cue then throw the cue stick at the cue ball. In these examples, I'm going to be shooting shots at different speeds, so you can see what happens as the grip hand slides along the butt end and then throws the cue. As you can see, the hand doesn't slide that far, but I am throwing the cue stick at the cue ball. But it's a very controlled throw, as the grip hand catches the cue after contact with the cue ball. On these shots, I'll be hitting the cue ball a bit more firm. You can see in here as my hand slides along the back of the cue. Also, the more firm I need to hit the cue ball, the harder I throw the cue stick at the cue ball. Some pool experts believe that the slip stroke is the best stroke for playing on the big tables. The reason some experts believe this is because most stroke problems occur during the backstroke. Either a person short strokes their shot, or their backstroke goes off the aiming path, which results in a missed shot. The slip stroke all but removes these potential problems by forcing your hand to slide along the butt end of the cue, which keeps the cue stick on the aiming line. Instead of manually moving your grip hand backward, keeping the stick on a straight line, your hand is simply sliding backward and doesn't grip the cue until the end of its slide. And if you really want to learn the strip stroke, here's what I recommend. And this is the best and quickest way to learn it. And this is how I learned it back in the 80s. I set up ball after ball and shoot them in the corner pocket using the slip stroke. This is the same stroke drill that I demonstrate on my secrets video. Now the first few hundred shots, I had to manually slide my hand backward on my cue. Which means on each shot, I would tell myself to slide my hand backward, catch the cue, then throw the cue at the cue ball. In the first few hundred I did at slow speed so I could focus on getting the technique down. And it took about a thousand balls before I could perform the slip stroke automatically. I no longer had to think about sliding the grip hand or even throwing the cue, it was all automatic. I went on to do about 3,000 total and by the end I had a very efficient slip stroke. So you'll need a cue stick that has a slick wrap, or as in my case, no wrap at all. Also, you're going to need baby powder or cornstarch. I prefer cornstarch simply because it doesn't cake up like baby powder. And throughout my life, I've used three different types of strokes, but I've had the most fun and success playing pool using the slip stroke. But to really use it effectively, you have to get to the point where you're not thinking about sliding the grip hand or throwing the cue. If you're thinking about the mechanics of the stroke, then you're going to struggle. Make sure you have a stroke down pat before trying it in a league match or a tournament. Now one thing that I've learned using the slip stroke for the last 25 years is you want to keep your grip hand moving, even if it's just subtle little movements. Here I'm moving my fingers one by one, and I'm doing this to keep my hand loose so it can slide easily. Another motion I sometimes do is I hold the cue stick higher than I normally would before I get down on the table. Then when I get down on the table, I gently toss the cue stick forward until my grip hand is in the correct position. Then when I'm ready to shoot, my hand should be loose and ready to slide. These are two great types of strokes that are highly effective and should be in every pool player's arsenal. The slip stroke is an absolute blast to use. If you can hit a gear using a slip stroke, it's an incredible experience. The game becomes almost effortless. 
the jab stroke is equally as fun to use and just as powerful. Both strokes take a while to master, but the payoff is enormous.